Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In today's session we're going to look at writing the file that we got on HTTP in, a, in an HTTP request. Writing that file into SQL into a binary data type. So uh, we spoke about it briefly in the first video but basically what happens is PyApp supports image files in SQL or image data types. Um, it works very well and it automatically links your cards and it does all of those lovely things for you. The problem is that image data types are deprecated so it's suggested that you actually use binary and um, we got binary to work with PyApps as well there are a few workarounds for that um, but basically what we're going to do today is connecting flow to all of this so on my screen I've got um, SQL and I'm I've got the table open where I've got the test columns in. So we've got an ID, uh, we've got an, a title for column, we've got the image, and this is where we're actually going to write the content of the file into. And then we've got a, a file type, which uh, is just a text field, where we're just going to write uh, what kind of file it is that we're storing. So at a later stage, we'll get into that. For now, we're just going to put the content in there. Right, so let's go into our flow and let's go and edit this right so we've sent our email for SharePoint and all of this is working well so let's go into the next one and say add a SQL action so SQL server and we're going to be inserting a row right so the table name is binary test in our case and now it's going to ask us for a title so let's just say test data image is where we're going to be writing the variable in that we prepared earlier so variables and this is var attachment and just to quickly recap if we go straight to the top this is where we've got var attachment and that's basically doing a base64 to binary conversion on the trigger multipart body um, property of this flow. So you can't see the base64 to uh, binary option at the moment, uh, but it is there. We discussed it in more detail in the first video. So if uh, this sounds confusing, it is. Go and watch the first, first video for an explanation. Right, so over there, I keep on forgetting to update that so I need to before scrolling away just update it so ball attachment click on OK and now it's got that value in there and then uh, the file type we gonna leave that blank for now it's not an issue right so let's go and say rename uh, create file SQL I think that's what we call that yes correct and now as a next action we now want to go and retrieve that file so again we're going to use SQL and now we're going to go and say get row binary table we haven't tried this through um, SQL queries yet running SQL queries from flow but Theoretically, it should work. I would think so. Uh, we have tested this through data gateways. Uh, it works well, as well as older versions of SQL, so 2008 uh, or two kind of thing. We have tested this on as well. So from now, let's go and write that or we'll fetch it. So the row ID that we're looking for is the ID, which is the primary key, and and that could be confusing as well. It's not the row ID per se, it is whatever the primary key is defined to be for that table. Alright, so let's go and say rename that action and that's get file content SQL. Alright, but now the actual proof would be to email this to us in a format that we can actually use. So let's go and send an email and type that correctly then it works and we're now going to just give it a title that makes sense just going to copy the one we used previously 
and that's SQL and that is SQL. Right, so at this stage we now want to go and say the file that we're going to write we know is a PNG file, so we're going to hard code that. And then the file get file content, we're going to get the value of the data image. Alright, so there we go, all of that should be fine. And let's go and save the flow. So at this stage, ooh, here we go, API connection, the API var attachment. Alright, so it's moaning about that. And I think it's probably because I'm not spelling attachment correctly. Thank you, Flow, for saving me a lot of headache. Alright, so that's saved properly. And let's go and send it. Takes a few seconds. Go back to Flow. Go and have a look at the Flow history. It's still running. Takes a little bit longer now. It's doing a lot of things and it's connecting to a lot of data sources and writing this file into many different places. So if we scroll down, it created the file in SQL, it got the file and it sent an email. So, you know the drill, let's go and have a look at my mailbox and let's start with the one that's declared or that's using the, the variable directly. That's working fine. So we use the one for OneDrive, that's working fine. The one for SharePoint is working fine. And now the big test, the one for SQL, and there you go it is working like a machine so guys that is how easy it is to write files into sql and then to, to actually retrieve it as well we will do another video to where we discuss uh, more about the data types in and how to talk to sql from power apps and then to still use binary data types instead of image types so but for now thank you very much for for joining our video um, actually, before I go, let me just quickly go and have a look at, um, at the data in SQL. So there is the data image. And right now, we're not going to be able to do anything with it. If this was on a Windows machine, I could have easily run SSMS boost as well uh, to just go and view that image or that uh, attachment directly in the in the studio unfortunately I can't do that on a Mac well I'm not aware of a way to do that on the Mac but the fact that we were able to retrieve this data uh, from flow and sending it on an email tells me that it is working fine so thank you very much for watching and uh, please join us in the next video we will st start dissecting the attachment that comes in to start looking for things like attachment file name uh, size and then ultimately application type so thank you for watching and please join us for the next video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.